Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well, keeping your expenses low and your income as high as possible. You know, sometimes I am really baffled at the market and I have a really hard time believing what I am actually seeing with my own two eyes. Like today, for example, my guy was in Spokane, Washington, and all I can do is continuously murmur to myself that but it's April, how is this possible? And while knowledge helps, it's still a shocker when you actually see it. So the only question I wanted an answer to today is why? Why is this happening? What other information can actually give me perspective so I can chill the f out? So let's talk about perspective and the reason for this whole mess. Ready? Let's go. All right, so let's start with what the Wall Street Journal said, and I quote, a push by retailers and manufacturers to cut shipping costs is sending trucking industry hopes of earnings rebound into a skid. Freight rates have been retreating for much of the year in the trucking sector's spot market. Analysts and the industry executives say longer term contract prices are also declining as shipping customers focus on keeping inventories lean and logistics spending tight. Well, that makes sense. Shippers as well as retailers were burned like crazy from all the excess inventory because of what happened during the pandemic. So now they're being overly cautious. To top it off, shippers have been burned by those extraordinarily high transportation costs because of supply and demand back in 2021. So again, they are playing it safe and taking this opportunity to save money. Now, what about those contract carriers? Are they also up creek or is it just the spot market carriers that are actually taking the beating? Well, Paul Svindland, chief executive of STG Logistics, a privately held logistics provider, based in Bensonville, Illinois, said his company is lowering contract rates by low single digits this bid season just to maintain the freight business it had in 2023. And he said the floor keeps getting lower. I'm definitely having a crazy hair day. So of course, after reading this, I decided to take a peek at the spot to contract spread to see whether there is an actual squeeze in the contract market. And yep, there is. So this time last year, contract carriers were earning on average 85 cents per mile more than those spot carriers. Now think about it. If let's say on the spot market, you were paid an average of $2 per mile for a 1000 mile haul, that would be $2,000, right? On that same lane, a contract carrier would earn $2,800 $50. Fuel prices definitely don't hit as hard when you are earning a normal uh, rate per mile. Now, if we look at today, of course, right now, contract carriers are still earning more than those spot carriers, but now only by 63 cents per mile more. And since the beginning of the year, as you can see, this is comparing 2024 to 2023, contract carriers have been in a worse position than in 2023. Now, as always, rates both on the contract as well as the spot market are pretty much influenced completely by supply and demand. And while we all like to point a finger at different parties, no, I'm not talking about you here. I'm looking at myself in the mirror because I'm just as guilty of it. The reality of it is it's a very simple formula. Too many trucks for too few loads. Now, as the Wall Street Journal article states, Although tens of thousands of small truckers have left the market over the past year, the industry still has far more trucks on the roads than before the pandemic after many new operators jumped into the business. So do you want to see the data? Because I have it, thanks to Sonar. Here we go again. So white is volume from 2019 until right now. Blue is the amount of active authorities. So yeah, the amount of authorities is decreasing. You can see that, but the volume is somewhere around the mid 2020 levels before that spike. Actually, volumes are 10% less today than at that point, but authorities are 35% more than at that time. Case and point. Regardless of the fact that there are a bunch of bankruptcies, a bunch of shutdowns happening, the fact remains there are still way too many trucks, or if you prefer to look at it 
in a different way, not enough floats, whatever floats your boat. All right, what about the bigger picture, the economy? Well, according to the Wall Street Journal, America's pandemic-driven warehousing boom is losing momentum. The Wall Street Journal logistics reports Liz Young writes that leasing rates are falling in some markets and that warehouse owners are offering more concessions to fill up empty sites. In simpler words, there is not enough volume freight stuff product in order to use all of those warehouses and there's definitely not enough product to give to the amount of trucks that are actually available and waiting for that product to be loaded on their truck but wait there is more according to dean croak the principal analyst at dat in the truckload sector, the exodus of small trucking companies is slowing and the number of companies entering the business is rising as freight demand slowly improves. We have seen the worst of the worst in terms of spot market capacity exiting. So basically what he's saying is carriers are not leaving us quickly anymore because there is a bump in demand. But doesn't that go completely against what we just talked about? Well, not exactly. The argument is that because of what happened in quarter one of this year, especially in January, we saw that January presented some positive signs. Rates were up and volumes were still there. And what did people do? People took this as a sign that the market is definitely improving and is going to continue improving. The problem, and we talked about this, is the fact that in January there was horrific weather and it wasn't necessarily the astronomical amount of volume that drove the rates up it was a temporary lack in capacity because many carriers were not willing to haul loads to certain areas where the weather was especially crappy so it seems to me that we are sort of at an impasse the volume to capacity ratio is completely screwed i meant to say skewed now in order for rates to go up we either need volumes to increase or capacity to leave. But whenever the volumes do start increasing, carriers take this as a sign that either, number one, the market is changing for the better, so we have to hold on a little bit longer to see it actually change, or number two, they take it as a sign to get into this industry. And then volumes start going down again because shippers and retailers are nervous about inventories and we end up in the same position as we are now. Basically, we are in a pickle. Hmm. Now, I am not going to share any opinions on this because I have shared pretty much every opinion I have on this channel time and time again. So for now, I'm just labeling this industry as a pickle, the pickle industry. Sorry guys, I know I sound insane, too much coffee, bad day, and I think I'm going a little crazy. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning. See you in the next video.